Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Yes, the best game ever to come out of gaming. That is my personal opinion and I realise some people don't agree with me. You people are wrong. Okay. <laughs> um, but I was going to, uh, I was setting up Ghost Town Gunfight, which I have done aside from getting the leather arm from Good Springs, which is a whole other, you know, kettle of fish oh thank you dust cloud i appreciate i appreciate you passing through um i'm gonna come i'm coming back to good springs and i'm probably coming back um probably at the end of this episode maybe i'll do ghost town gunfight then but i want to deal with the powder gangers because i'm gonna deal with the powder gangers um a lot more than i'm gonna deal with good springs to be perfectly honest um and that's not a that's not a bad thing so we, we're just gonna head out of town and we're going to head to Prim because there are a few quests that are interlinked and I want to show you everything because of course I do. And yeah, so so we're heading to Prim. We're, we're off we're off in this way and I'll show you the good things along the way. And on the road out of Prim, you can go to Las Vegas, you go to Jean Skydiving or you can go down to Prim. We're going uh, that away. But first we're going to head into Jean Skydiving. Now there are some powder gangers behind behind jeans oh, yeah, oh thank you yes this is jeans going down um they leave you alone if you haven't caused hello there it's good to see a friendly face i almost took you for a raider i did name's malcolm malcolm Holmes. okay so we're doing malcolm Don't Holmes then are we care to trade i'm missing a few essentials and ah oh, screw this line just ain't in my nature i'll tell it to you straight i've been following you for a good bit now uh, okay go on it started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Okay, so tell me what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Right, okay. Um, where can I find more of these caps, then? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Okay, thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Okay, right. So... And down he goes. Sneak attack critical. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Actually, I didn't. Right, so... He's got six on him. Oh, that's more than he normally carries around. I usually get that four from him. Okay, so good ammo, bottle caps, and barter gear. Which means I should be able to... Hmm. I can reload that and put that away. With, um... Yeah, with, with the magazine, I should be able to get that barter check out. Not a problem. Right, so let's go into Gene Skydiving. There's sometimes some good stuff here. All right, this is Jean skydiving, and there is a star bottle cap, ironically enough, and there is a key. Now, there we go. This key is, this locker is, I think, an average locked one. What? Well, you know what? Let's put some, eh, some light. Oh, there's the ham radio. I thought that was something interesting then. No, anyway, so yes, we can open this locker. And it's got some good ammo, bottle caps, not going to take the cleaver, it's not in my nature. Um, and there's some level armor and a night varmint rifle which I can improve my own with. Well, there's a gecko. Hi, gecko. Oh, fine, you know what, we're going to do this then. It's a young gecko hunter. Okay, he saw me at least. But gecko hides, you know, relatively valuable, so that's not terrible. And here's Prim, put away my gun. And I should have someone run up and tell me, go away! You're not welcome here. Like, 
any moment now. Like, seriously, any moment now. Come on. Where are you? You! You being lazy? There we go. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. I'll go where I want. Well... What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. It's funny, What's that. more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. <clears throat> You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. How do you know I've come from Good Springs? Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Dun dun dun. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Yeah, um, that that genuine genuine means they're not going to shoot me. The 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 NCR don't. They don't. They just don't. Um, now I need to do lots of looting here, very quietly. Okay, I thought Prim was across the bridge, the the fast travel checkpoint. That's an empty. However, I am hidden. And that's just a soda bottle. So what ammo have you got? Oh, nine rounds. Okay. More. Ah, magnum rounds. Should be getting a decent gun at some point. Soon-ish. Here we go. I knew it was around here somewhere. So we can open this safe. And oh, I can sell that. Actually, there's not a lot in that safe. I remember it being better than that. It could be a, a random draw safe. But yeah. Oh, well. And a bit shuddery on the old frame rate but that is a problem when you're taking a really old game and yep yeah, let's keep on stealing all their ammunition no matter where we go take it all and I think that's it's up here all right let's head to the tents okay really I'm most interested in this tent here here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone inside it and this thing here because aside from there being lots of shiny 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 things we have the armor I'm going to take both because I've got the weight capacity um, I don't know what's in the Ooh, sensor module might come in handy in a bit um, scrap metal oh I like that light just reminds me of it, it reminds me of a nuke um, a mini nuke okay Right, and then we're going to go speak to Lieutenant Hayes. All right, Hayes, not you, you. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Oh, uh, what you doing out here? That's my business. We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. Yeah, there's like As 15. you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job Pretty we could much. be doing. Maybe 20. Um, and so, so tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. So, what's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here. Maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Okay, so tell me about the convicts. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay, well... Some other questions? Ah, nothing, apparently. Yeah. Um... Hidden. Hidden. It's just the way of it. These people are just geniuses. Okay, next part of Operation Take Everything Not Nailed Down. Just, yep, just straight from... Excuse me, I don't, I don't actually care about you. You, there you go. Got some more rounds. Minigun rounds. But, you know, they'll... they'll... She's weird because I don't think anyone actually has like a minigun here um right so the next problem is those those are mines and I'm gonna save right now um 
yeah, they they won't. They've mined up the bridge so the powder gangers can't get out, or the powder gangers. Well, I say the powder gangers. They're not powder gangers because they, regardless of your relationship with the um, powder gangers, these guys will attack you no problem. So as you, as Hayes mentioned, they they're a breakaway faction. Um, I'm gonna die, but nothing ventured, nothing gains. Okay. Oh, I only got one smack on that one. No, just, just a quick save. Just two is fine. This is the last one. Okay. That should be all of them, I believe. Right. Now, I am going to take out probably the convicts because they are arguably, arguably more difficult in this outside area to deal with. So, first I'm going to go up into these buildings and um, see if I can see them. Got anything in here? Oh, we got Sunset Sauce Brother. That's pretty good. And I can't, don't remember if I can go up there. I might be able to. Oh, I think I can go around here though. So I don't think there's anything through here. No, that's just empty. And on the roof, I believe there is stuff. Yeah, some ammo crates. Oh, and uh, and a uh, Millsert review. That's good. Um, that's guns. Right, so where are they? There's one of them. Ooh. 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 I've not seen... Oh, there we go. He's seen me. Right. Oh, you've got... Mele oh, you've got a grenade. Okay, I guess I'm stim packing it up then. Um... I wasn't actually intending to do it this way. Well done, me. Okay. He's coming up the stairs. Yeah? Okay. Oh, nice head. There you go. Where are you? Oh, you dickbag. Okay, no, I'm just... There we go. There should only be two of them this way. Okay, that was my first stim pack of the run. Um, yeah, my stealth is not good enough for this at the moment. Hockey mask. I'll take that and sell it. In fact, I'm going to take most of this and sell it. Varmint rifle. Varmint rifles are rubbish, and I know they're rubbish. Um, I'm actually just waiting for, like, a cowboy repeater. I'll take my baseball. Um, Rattan Cowboy Hat. I do love the Rattan Cowboy Hat. It's another Varmint Rifle. Um, hmm. Right, we're gonna... Um... Oh, here we go. Caravaneer outfit. Doesn't really do anything. Let's take this. And then... If we go into my notes... Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right. Deliver the package. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Agent Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completions, 200 caps. Two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material. And then, yeah, so th this is the same as mine because mine is the six out of six one. Oversized poker chip composed, composed of platinum. So, yeah, he, there were lots of different people coming around. And, in fact, we're going to go into the Nash Register. Steal the, you know, steal them blind. Rob them blind. Um... Hey, try to fix it. Examine electronics with science. Um, science 55 required. I don't have that thing. Right, there's a drop box. We're not shipping anything. Wooden crates. I don't actually think anything apart from ED is around. Um, oh, yes, and for the people that are like, oh, it's Eddie. No, it's ED just deal with it it always is always has been to me always will be Ooh, sunset sarsaparilla i'm taking your sunset sarsaparilla all right let's go to the vicky and vance casino and i should have someone here to sell things to in a bit i don't know what it was brought you to prim youngster but you might want to rethink your plans town's gone to hell oh johnson nash who are you i have some questions about your robot that i haven't yet met that that was poorly done. How about came a caravan? Hand a caravan. I've, I've never played caravan. 
It doesn't make sense to me. I don't like it. Um, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver? I'll tell you whatever I can. If you have a delivery order, you can show me. What can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Um... Some men stole my package, man in a checkered suit, and some thugs, they passed this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. The townies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Ah, uh, one of those men shot me. Need to know the way, best way to get them. Because exactly, you know, exactly what you want when you're you're being attacked by a man in a suit... Who shot you in the face is to go after him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay, goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. That's the plan. Okay, so let's have a bit of a chat to Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Hi. Who who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! So who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance, because I just love this story. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S., like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados this would will die come by the gun. Later. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank, had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Okay, bye. Happy trails, partner. Happy trails. Howdy. And the interesting part about that is uh, the, the case is... 9mm sheet gun preserved in the case is the actual weapon. Vance carried inside a paper wrapped box under some suitcases in the truck of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Yes. Um, I do love the sense of humour that New Vegas has about this whole thing. It's basically, yeah, these people are, are famous bandits who were not. But the most important thing is, gun's missing. Gun is missing. And there's the bullets. Okay, right, so now I've done that, I I uh, want to speak to Robert Nash. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, put that away. Okay, and I'm going to sell him, and Howdy. usually he has, like, a cowboy repeater on him. Hey, youngster. Yeah, uh, just, um, tell me, sale. Sure, I, I, have I'm a look. I'm looking for a cowboy repeater specifically. Weapons. Damn it. Ah, oh, I'm not going to need any of this. Oh, well. There we go. 399 caps for that. And then let's see what he's got. Nothing special, but I will take fixing things for 29 caps. Pleasure Excellent. doing business with you. 
Okay, so, um... Where can I get more information? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay, and Beagle, as we know, is... Uh... Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Toodles. Um, is over across the road. Um, I still got some looting to do because there's always more looting. Aha! It's another safe out here. Um, not a bad. A single shotgun. Well, do I think? I think that's the last of everything. No, there's another house around here somewhere. Ah, they're around here. I'd forgotten about those. Well, I hadn't forgotten about them. I knew they were here. It's just, it's just finding them that's always the issue. And of course, the last two houses on the street. Okay. So I don't know if I caught. Oh, reloading bench. Do I have anything? I've only got breakdown skills. Hang on. Oh, I can actually make 308s. Case through. I don't know. Can you cases? Uh, do I have any? Was there a denarius thing? Okay, I've got. I've got. The buck shot. And I've got five five six. I've got oh. Oh no, that's break down the stuff that you have, which I can't do yet. Okay. Oh, that's not terrible. Okay, so this is the sheriff's house. Um they've literally just this moment exploded because that's what they do, and this is what I was after. Sheriff's duster and the hat. You can keep your Brahmin skin outfit. I'm not I'm not feeling it today. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think all I think all the guns I assume all the guns were taken, but I swear to god there's usually like Yeah, there it is. The 308 ammo. 308, 308. There's loads of 308 ammo in here. Like like a metric crap ton. Um in here? Microfusion cells. So yeah, some good ammo in this house. You want to loot it ASAP. And I don't think there's anything else. Nothing in here. Okay, so we're going to go and... Right, let's, let's talk about outfits. I like having an outfit in this game to walk around town with. Um, or, um, or maybe to, to, you know, do some like high stakes poker kind of deal. Um, so yeah, I do like having like a little outfit. But... Um, so far at the moment, the, 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 the mo- I've got faction armor on, yes, I know, okay, I know. Right, the, uh, this is the best armor I've got at the moment because it's got damage heft threshold of 10, um, which affects obviously how much, uh, crap gets through into my face. I've also, but this is armor that's NCR aligned, so if the powder gang see me in it, they're gonna hit me. This one has got a damage threshold of 5. Um, so there's less armor on this one, but people are not, not automatically going to smack me one. However, because I'm about to go into, do I want mantle armor or do I want troop rock? I like the mantle armor, um, and the goggles helmet. Because I'm going into a place where I'm probably going to get hit, um, this will negate most of the damage, so I'm much more likely to be protected dressed like this than I am to be... In, in the leather armor so I'm this is better protection and considering they're gonna shoot me anyway I might as well be protected I'm gonna go next door to Beagle's house and see what happens yeah I don't actually think there's a huge amount oh gun case gun case is good all right so um, silence 22 all oh, that could be interesting um, if I manage to sneak into the thing I, I can't alert anyone else. Um, but yeah, this is very much a bachelor pad for a very crappy bachelor. So we're going to go and do a raid on the casino. The, the Buffalo Bill Casino? Oh, crikey. Um, Bison Steve. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Buffalo Bill, but Bison Steve. God. Um, what gun have I currently got out? Got the nine mil right if i let's have a look at the 22 silence 22 damage of four 
bonus crits damage and crit chance we're gonna hopefully i can sneak in there and not get hurt but he could be standing right in front of me that's Ooh. okay hasn't seen me oh is he coming to look i can just sneak around here Oh, are they coming to look? What was that? Nothing here but us chickens. Ah, just getting jumpy, I guess. Yep. Right, let's. That's silence. <laughs> no, should have gone with a better gun. Come on! Down he goes. Oh, that was silence. That was cool. Okay. Right, okay. So, that went better than I thought. I'll take that. And... Uh -oh. I've got you now. Yeah, Come yeah. On. And as you can see, his, uh, his bullets aren't getting through my damage threshold. Um, because it's got a little shield icon appearing. So I am doing quite well. Ooh, goggles helmet and Merc veteran. Okay, so they've got a lot of varmint rifles over encumbered. Okay, so I need to combine. So this one. All right, I'm going with the silenced. Now there's another one down that area. But I think if I get through this way, I can get to the kitchens without alerting anyone else. There we go. Don't think there's anyone in the. Oh, there's someone there. That's. Let's kill him. Hopefully that's. <laughs> that's. Oh no, I'm still hidden. I am still hidden. Oh, level three. Excellent. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Okay, guns. I need. Okay, speech. I've got like 35 checks coming up at some point quickly because those come up quickly. They level off at 50 and then they rise later game. Um, got science where I need to get repair at 30. All right, so it's sneak. I can get to 30. Or guns, I can get to 40. If I get guns to 40... And then I can get sneak to 25. And then that makes me feel a whole lot better about my life. Um, how's... Oh, do I need barter? Okay, so I've got 10 on the barter outfit. Plus a skill mag. Which is 10. So that brings me up to 33 total. Yeah, I don't need to do barter. Done. All right, let's go and get Beagle. Now, you can deal with Beagle several ways, but they don't really affect the plot. Close the door. Okay, let's just open the first aid box. I don't need the syringe. I don't know why I took that. Right, okay, you can do this one of two ways. And I am going to drop a save so I can show you. So step one, you can pickpocket Deputy Beagle's directly off his body and then go away. Because now you've got the, the, the Deputy Beagle's journal and he tells you This is most unusual. There you go. Powder and you can have visitors today. solve that I guess problem. There's a first oh, thanks, game. So you can pickpocket the journal off him. You can kill him. And take the journal off him. Or you can talk to him. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Okay, you must be Dep Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. Can't say the feeling is mutual. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um, I hear you may have information about some cars that came through a guy in a checkered suit. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Okay. Ah, there's a, a level 40 speed check. I'll free, I'll free you right after you tell me that's not going to happen. 
Um, so I, I could get that up, but basically he'll give you that and then you just have to, you can bugger off and free him. But I'm going to set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Um, you could do speech 25 if you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. And he will stick by you. But he's a hindrance, so you might as well. And to be honest, you can just pick the the journal off him if you really wanted to. So you might as well. Um, sure, run away. Don't look like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. And because I've cleared out the way, he should just be able to cheese it. And if he dies, he dies. But. And this will. Uh oh. Going Watch this out. way. They're coming in. There. All right, and I can just there we go. And I think we can both probably just run away. I could go through the hotel and kill everyone else off. But I can't see the point really. And here's hey Beagle. Ah, I see why the, I got into the caution at the end there because the sun was rising. Well, so. that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? I taught two convicts a thing or two. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just the deputy. And I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command chain I hit you with until you follow my commands. What are the qualifications? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Okay, so I will help bring Law and Order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay, so this quest can be done several ways. Again, I'm going to show you all of them because... I mean, it's a pretty decent quest. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Okay. Step one. This is the the first Howdy, easy, possibly Welcome easiest to the way. Vance Casino I'm using. Yeah. Okay. So I can, I can, I can use uh, three fission batteries and four conductors if you can bother them. Or with a size of thirty, which I have, we can reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and did you know that the Vance is going to... Just mose you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece, that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Uh-huh. Maybe you've been hacked or something. Um, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you have. Yes, ma'am. You just tell old Prim Slim what you'd like to know. Okay, so we now have... Happy... Prim Slim done and we can tell beagle well if it isn't the lawbringer what's your problem now my problem is that i'm no longer a deputy i'm just a beagle now slim's all right i don't wish him no harm but the law to him is a set of logic not everything is black and white I'm not sure a robot can ever understand that well if you're not happy with that how about we do it some other way so lieutenant hayes would you mind taking the obnoxious yeah. people of the city under your wing. Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. So, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. 
Okay, so Bam. we need to go uh, go on a journey to Mojave Outpost. And if we bring up the world map. Yep, Mojave Outpost is further down the road. I think there are ambushes on the way, but I'm thinking as I'm in, uh, might be best putting on some other clothes. Actually, I'll keep the goggles helmet, but I'll keep the NC armor on or unless the sheriff no the sheriff doesn't has no resistances okay let's go and there's Mojave outpost the picture of two guys shaking hands um i am gonna go up there obviously but i'm not gonna stick around for very much longer uh there is a i think it's jackal's ambush around this area considering um, this bit is going to be possibly wiped from history I don't want to take them on really and here we are and we're just going to go straight inside and avoid everyone um, yeah at the Mojave outpost I'm not going to talk to anyone I'm going to go straight inside talk to the one guy and then be on my way all right hello major knight caravan citizen pilgrim or Korea I guess just need something for the logbook keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost Although mostly just in, not out these days. Hello, kitty. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Um, I... I'd like... Uh, Major Knight, I quite like Major Knight. He is, um, canonically gay. Um, because if you have the confirmed bachelor perk, you can get papers from major knight so tell me about major prim. prim tell me about prim these units are stationed up there we're having problems with some of the ncrcf convicts what can i help you with um hayes is under man is requesting some additional support i'd like to help but we can't spare any more units we have to maintain a minimum head count at the outpost orders from the west um right so i need Goodbye. to get one of my books up and should have thought of that beforehand. Where's the Salesman Weekly? I've got two. I didn't need that. I've got my back Back again, here. I see. Um, prim. Yeah. Undermanned. Barter. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Okay. Goodbye. Ma'am. So, we can tell Hayes now that Prim is going to get some extra support. Yeah? Uh, I've got extra troop support for Prim. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Excellent. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Yes, tell the trim troops to come to protect Prim. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Well, that's another sheriff for the town, but I don't think Prim would like to have to pay taxes. Hmm. Let's do another way. Oh, that's interesting. Um, some powder gangers have had a fight. Any lawman with, that comes after me will with oh, I'm gonna won't take have that. Have attacked some crimson caravan and. Whilst we're here, we'll take the today's physician, we'll take the ammo, and nothing else. Okay. Well, we're off to the NCRCF, which is over there. Okay, doors. Not this door, but this. This man is doors, and they've put him on the hey doors. Hey there, girly. You here to party with the powder gangers? And, uh, yes. What is this, this? place? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. So who's in charge now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. There is actually literally no way you can 
get around this one, so yeah, you just have to bribe your way in. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Aren't you a treasure? Yeah. And here we are. You eyeballing me? I'm not eyeballing anyone, bruv. Okay, you. Myers. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Um, what did you do to before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not. For a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Um, right, so. How would you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Uh, you have a deal. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. Okay. Now, this was the reason why I had to come in get, uh, do this quest before I moved on to the correctional facility. Because this is basically where I end it, want, ended up wanting to be. So first things first, it's time to loot things that need looting. Hello, Eddie. Dawes said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Um, I can do you jobs. I'm good at jobs. Jobs are fun. Okay, what do you need done? This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? I will do it. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky and he's careless, he might still be there. And he indeed will be. Bye bye. Hello. And that's I fought the law. Hello. Right, and Chavez is around this area. Now you can just straight up kill him. Um, doesn't have very good loot on him, so there's no real point. You can get about. Never much. gets old when something. Okay. You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might let you live. How about no? Eddie sent me to deal with you, you know. That's nothing new. Am I supposed to be impressed? Well, speech of 30. Eddie's just going to keep chasing you. Quit while you're ahead and alive. All right. Pickings were getting slim around here anyway. And... You going? I think you're going. You're not going. I mean, we dealt with you, but you know, I'm gonna take your dinosaur toy and your bobby pins and apparently your wonder glue, which I didn't intend to take. Oh, you've got some, take your sunset sarsaparilla. Um, and that's basically it. I thought they had dynamite somewhere. Dynamite's good. Oh yeah, there's the dynamite. They can take that and read your note. Some of the fellas further north are trying to organise. Starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pull resources if we're going to survive out here. Sure, you've noticed the decline in travellers. If they're getting wise, so should we. All right. And now we're going back to Eddie. So, what? Eddie, I have dealt with your problem. I'm happy you cleared that up for me. But we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit. But if not, take him out. Okay, I can do that as well. Yeah, get out of here. And we're back to Gene skydiving. Hello, traveling merchants. Better be merchants. careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gangers around and dangerous for merchants like me. Okay, traveling a little light for a merchant, aren't you? No prep ramen or a real merchant would be more worried about powder gangers, you know. Um, or I can try and shake him down. Um, I think you can actually get some money from him. Um, but yeah, if you've got a choice between an intelligent... a uh, 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 Sorry, a special stat or a thing. Take take a skill because it gets you XP, whereas intelligence wouldn't. Guess I was a little too obvious. I'm actually a bounty hunter. I was hoping to bag some powder gangers if they tried to rob me. 
Okay, you better leave whilst you can. The powder gangers won't fall for your tricks. Yeah, it was a stupid idea anyway. See you around. Yeah, I agree. It was a stupid idea. Eddie, I was a good girl and did everything you what? wanted from me. Got rid of him. Good. Had him figured for NCR. One of the rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I can feel it. Okay, well, what am I looking for in Prim? I know the NCR has troops near Prim. So talk to the locals and find out if any of those troops are going to be coming our way. Oh, I, I know one local reasonably well. Yeah, get well. out of here. And I can deal with the, uh... With the sheriff issue. Okay, so before I do anything else, I want to go back up to the Mojave Outpost. Yes, I have to run this time. Again, um, I know that there's an ambush waiting for me. Uh, what weapon will I use? They've got very low armor, so this is probably my best bet. And you know what else I'm going to do? I am going to get my mantle armor up. Don't mess stress a member of the MCR. I should be okay because they're going to kill me anyway. So I might as well take my best damage stuff. Yeah, there's a Vipers thing in this house, and there are like yeah, they're just it's just stuff around. Literally, there's just stuff here. I think yeah, there's two of them. They're going to attack me. So I might as well run up as fast as I can. Member of the Vipers. You better get. Oh no, you're a convict. Oh, you're from Prim. Get okay. Out. Yeah, they don't have much armor on them. That's fine. Uh -huh. Go on, die now. I've gained karma for killing people. This game is a strange one. It really is. Uh, fixer. Oh, fixer's good. Okay. Reload. Is it just inside the building? I was absolutely sure that there were. Okay, the jackals must just be inside the building. Nevada Highway Patrol. Oh yeah, there's two girls in here as far as I remember. Okay, bats. Jackal gang member. Jackal gang member. Who's... Okay. No, you get... Hang on, hang on, hang on! Okay, vats. Yes, can I have a head? Head and... You. Your head too. Hello? Oh, Vats has decided it's going to be... Oh, she's down. And now you're down. Okay, so that's all the dangerous things in this. Oh, you had a grenade rifle? Okay. Well, at least my leather armour is going to be a bit better. Oh, over-encumbered. No, I know there's definitely lows behind here. So you can just shoot them and they can't get you through the bars so they are a pain in the bum to hit though can I vat them? that's probably safer what's 83? uh no we'll just right, that nymph is down oh, you know what I'm just going to open it Die. Can I not just squid you? Right, and there we go. We've got another... S Can we move you? There's a bottle cap there that I would really like. There we go. And you've got... Not you. You have got some stuff that I can sell. I mean, not a huge amount. In fact, that's pretty poor. Well, you suck. Hope there's something in the desk. Nothing. Oh, but there is some Hydra. 
Hail Hydra! Here we are again. Happy as can be. Uh, the Unification Monument. Yep. NCR Protector 2 for Dam. Blah, 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 blah. Right, we're in Mar Harvey Outpost. We can stay in this one right now. Um, oh. Hello. Watch out. What are we watching? Who's. Sh what? Where are we watching out Whoa. from? Watch out. From me? Um, I was actually wanting to buy some of your goods and or services. Hey there. Need anything? Can you just stop running away. I'd like to see your wares, sure. please. Sure. Here's... That. Okay. I guess I've got something chasing me. Ooh. Got some GRA stuff in. Okay. Okay, he's got nothing good, but I am accepting, like, 650 caps from him. Whoa. And it's time we go in and speak to a Major Knight again. I'd like to talk to you about Prim. Prim. Hey. Prim, one of the convicts from the NCRCF is looking for a pardon so he can protect Prim. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? Um, his sentence is almost up. I could buy a pardon for 200 caps. Sentence was almost up and he isn't tied to the powder gangers. Uh, all right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Excellent. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there who owes us a favor, that couldn't hurt. Okay, now, if you have repairs, he is... All right, then. I'll just sign here, here, three, and here. Two, maybe two people. That was 100% repair, repair, repair skill. Um, so, if I wanted to get that up, the condition up, but not any money, there's nothing here that is particularly good. Submachine gun, I wouldn't mind, but it's not... I'm not going to spend a thousand caps on it. Okay, so I am not going to do much of anything at the outpost aside from that. I'm not even going to loot it. Myers should be this guy around here. Yes, there we go. Hello. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm not worried. <laughs> I've leveled up. Bye-bye. Watch yourself out there. Okay, and level four. Um, I'm feeling a lack of speech. So let's get that up to 40. Um, science and lockpick. Doing okay. Lockpick I can get up to 50 if I really need to. Guns I want at 45. Quick. And... Medicine can wait a little bit. I am going to uh, what's coming up next um, I think I want speech up once I get up to speech up to 50 I can ease it up a little bit at a time okay so educated it's uh, if you don't take educated at level four you're a numpty um because it's two extra skill points every time you advance and over the course of like 20 what, 20 odd levels well that's at least 40 skill points that's just a done deal i mean you could get some of the others but you would be an idiot um i mean black widow you could get but i can take that next level when there's nothing particularly good um so yeah educated i am now an educated person in my jig oh it looks like everyone's heading back to their normal lives so he's probably in his house but uh that means i need to speak to johnson nash okay they'll be outside johnson nash should be there you are heard it was you brought the law back to prim youngster hats off to you i know um i want to ask you some more about hang on no do you know if the ncr is planning to attack the prison north of here i might know something but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. Okay, I don't have barter. 100 caps. If the NCL won't deal with those prisoners, I'll have to risk doing it myself. Hold on there. With everything you've already done for this town, I'd feel ungrateful as hell if I let you risk yourself for no good reason. He made me swear not to say a word to no one, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. 
Okay, I wanted to ask you more about the delivery. I was... No, actually, I really didn't. Okay. Bye. Right, so I can Bring report back to Eddie, or I can rule. betray Eddie. Some okay, by offering Lieutenant sick. Hayes assistance. There you are. Well, if it isn't the law, Brad. I think I've heard this speech before. What's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. Yes, we've heard Apparently, this. Apparently, two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. All new. He's a good sheriff, but a hard man. He doesn't abide by anyone slinking by the rules. I guess there won't be any trouble, but the man's law is hard. Yeah, okay. Yes, um, Myers uh, straight up shoots people, to be fair. Okay, so that is, um, that is that quest done in all the ways that I can think of. Um... The next thing is... Oh, yeah, the stuff that I heard from Johnson Nash. Now, I could get that information from Johnson Nash. Or... Okay, there is one way to do this. Let's... If I'm hidden, pickpocket. I could get his military orders. And I could... Where is it? Miscellaneous military orders. You and your men are ordered to secure the area around Prim in preparation for the assault on the prison... Recon indicates the powder gangers are lax in their defences and should quickly fall to a uh, su surprise assault. In the unlikely event you know, the attack fails, you to hold the position near Prim and await further instructions. Or, after the you've got the, the information from pickpocketing, yep. um, I know the NCR is planning to attack the prison. Military operations are classified information. Um, tell them to call off the attack on the prison, they'll get wiped out. Should be going. Fine by right. me. He won't call off the prison attack. Am. He won't. Okay, so hey. Yes. Yeah. Now I am going to betray Eddie right now. Okay, tell me about the prison. I want to help make the attack. Some powder gangers did you wrong, is that it? Get in line. Still, you do look capable enough, and manpower hasn't been easy to come by. All right, fine by me if you want to put yourself in harm's way. I'll mark the staging area on your map. Talk to Sergeant Lee. Okay, let's go and assault the prison. All right, dude, let's go. I'm Sergeant Lee. Lieutenant Hayes radioed ahead to say you were on the way. We've got surprise on our side, and that's about it. Once we blow a gap in the fence, we've got to pour on the fire and keep them disorganized. I have got a shotgun. Our goal is to take out their leader, some ass bag named Eddie. With the ringleader gone, the rest will fold. And that's all the briefing you're going to get. Let's go. Boom! Let's go. And where are the rest? And where are you going? Oh, you're actually shooting at me. Don't don't shoot at me. I'm not very good at being shot at. So apparently it's just you and me, sir, doing this. Is, seriously, is it is it you and me doing this? Because if it is, that's... That's going to be a problem. Where is the rest of your troop? Agent Dickbag. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to shoot everyone. So, we're going this way. Oh, there they are. There's the troop. They've decided to come in through the other gate um yeah you don't actually have to help i mean ncr often win this one but you know what i'm gonna go in here ncrcf admin hey hi you like that oh hannigan whoa thanks you like that no i just want to bat you I don't like it at all. Oh yeah, missed that. Well, I'm probably going to die here. Apparently Eddie's dead. There you go, I've been shunned with... <laughs> okay, so yeah, they basically killed Eddie. Oh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this because... There we go. Done. Okay, I fought the law and the law won. And... Yeah, they basically nuked Eddie. Um, I don't have to speak to anyone um, in this case. So, yeah, I'm still dressed as a member of the NCR. Well, let's see.
see what happens if I don't speak to Hayes. Okay, so here's the thing is I want Eddie to go down because I want the key to that room. I don't want to um, be shunned by the powder gangers because they will start shooting me on the outside. So basically, I am going to do my best. I mean, I think like most times, most often, the NCR will win over in that fight. But um, I, I... I don't want Eddie to win, but I also don't want to be shunned by the powder gangers. So what? Are you, yeah, thank you. Um, you got trouble. The NCR are planning a raid on this place soon. Sounds like they're already here. There's no way I'm letting them take me alive. There's no reason for you to stick around and help us, but feel free to kill a few of the bastards on your way out. Okay, so now they do nothing. I'm gonna run down here now. Um, in order to not be attacked by, oh, in order to not be attacked by the NCR, um, I'm gonna get in speech to 50. Okay, that's gonna stay there for a while. Um, guns to 45 is fine. Science could do with going up, and so could sneak. So let's drop five points in science and drop the rest into sneak. Done. Okay, now. Let's, we're hidden, so no one's going to attack me. So I am going to put on my armor. And leave a thing, and then that should be exploded. And then if I just sneak over here, no one should shoot me as they pour in through this breach. There you go. Everybody loves me. I don't get attacked. We all go on with our lives. Okay, so they're gonna start by taking out everyone in the compound, and I get to loot. I get to loot everyone. Oh no 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 no! However, ah, you didn't want those legs anyway, did you? It's fine. Oh yeah, this isn't going well for the powder gangers. Like not at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful madness. Oh, dynamite. That's that's good selling. And yeah. Oh, there's some more here. And then once everyone in the compound is 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 dead or dying or gone, and I don't think any of them are particularly hurt. Okay. Oops. Oh, did you come and shoot them just as they were going through the door? Oh, right. Okay. Well, wait for you all to go in, ladies first. And over here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm enough. just gonna stay here. It's Get fine. Off. It's nothing, nothing that I particularly can be bothered with. And Anybody there? yeah, I think Eddie's gonna that? go down pretty, pretty hard. I mean, he does have a plasma gun, I think, of some description. Like that. Oh. Ooh. NCR troopers. No, I think the NCR troopers are going to win this one. Like Down that. goes Eddie. And Scrambler. Is, is that it? Are we all free? We're all ready. Okay, so. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Where are you, Eddie? Ah, we won't go. there you go. Administration key, which is what I wanted. Multiplication cells, energy cells, plasma pistol. Well, that's what I was after. We well, that's part of what I was after. But there's some, ooh, another nine mil. Ah, oh, lots of nine mil submachine guns. Good. Ooh, sunglasses. No, I don't need them. Hopefully no. I will get a lucky version at some point. But yes, there's lots and lots of weapons. Lots and lots of ammo, armor, pistols, etc. Oh, and you can take all the medical supplies as well. You detected me, but you're not bothered. This? Yeah, you don't care, but you know what? Just so you don't watch me steal everything. And there's so much ammo here. So much ammo, 
so much good stuff. You know, explosive crate, uh, fragmine, dynamite, all sorts of good stuff around here. Well, that's fine. Right, I don't know if I can just... Well. Can I take... Ooh. Lockpick 50. What is my lockpick now? Lockpick is 40. Do I have a locksmith's reader? Um, I do. Can I use you to hide myself from there? I can. Okay, right. Let's see if any... Actually, drop a save. Let's see if any of this is... Okay. There we go. Bottle caps, buff out, water fixer, pre-war money, stim pack, Xander root, and rock flower can make some stuff. But, you know what? Perfectly fine. What's on? Oh. No, I don't need to do that. Just turn that you one off. Go quiet. What's in the desk? Legion can count on that. Actually, if I just... Hidden, hidden. Let's take all the stuff out of the desk because why not? Laser rifle. Perfect. Let's get out of this place. Now, why did I want to do that today? Now, why did I want to do that today? Oh, yes. Ghost town gunfight. Uh, I'm going to wait until morning so I can get to the store. Right, I have a barter of 23, and in we go, and I have a salesman weekly or two, salesman weekly, where are you, S -s 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 sales, salesman weekly, so check. You looking to buy some supplies? Um, I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. This again? Like I said. Yeah, yeah, barter, 25%, boom. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. And uh, you know what? You're an idiot. All right, let's speak to good old Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? I have everyone. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Okay, how many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Okay, let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. Ooh, yeah. I really hope I don't blow myself up. Oh, I'll be set no. up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay, so I've got everyone. Let's mosey. Right, I have my service rifle, which is not bad DPS-wise, to be honest. Um, it's got a DPS of like 51. So it should be good. And we're off to the store. And if I hide behind these boxes and wait for... Oh, not maybe not these boxes. Maybe this box. There they are. Come on. So if I just shoot. Okay, that's then. Ah. Oh. Let's take these guys. Really? Okay. Not those. Not Cheyenne. This one. I am not having good luck with any kind of. I mean, right. Can I get you at least? There we go. Get his arm. Right there. Let's start. And you have just walked out into no cover. Am I wearing my barter gear? I'm wearing my barter gear. That is possibly a bad idea. Let's put my leather armor on and my goggles helmet. What have you done? Okay, what have I done? I'm vats in your head. Because apparently I forgot that's your weak spot. The eyes. Ooh, look at that. That was a nice shot. 
And you. Yeah, this gun is not bad. Vilified. If you're overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you become vilified by the community. Oh, and I was hoping I could idolize my good sprint. Okay, I guess the powder gangers don't like me. I thought if I did all the good stuff for them, I'd get all the, the benefits. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Um, didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Okay, I will see you later then, Ringo. Um, where is he? Cobby, there you are. Magnum revolver, magnum round, bottle caps. And the stealth boy that I really, really like. And they've got some decent weapons. I, I say decent, they're good enough to sell. They've got lots of dynamite. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, Desperado. Boy. Mm. The Desperado. I think the Desperado looks better. So. Mm. Okay. So, anyway. I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Fallout New Vegas. Class dismissed.